Welcome to the crossroads of civilization. Palestine, a land steeped in history, sits at the crossroads of three continents, Asia, Africa, and Europe. This strategic location has made it a coveted prize for empires throughout history, shaping its complex and often turbulent narrative. Its fertile plains, rolling hills, and access to the Mediterranean Sea have drawn settlers, traders, and conquerors for millennia. Its cultural tapestry reflects this rich history, woven with threads of diverse civilizations that have left their mark on the land. From the ancient Canaanites and Philistines to the Romans, Byzantines, and Ottomans, Palestine has witnessed the rise and fall of empires. Its religious significance is paramount, revered as the Holy Land by Jews, Christians, and Muslims alike. Jerusalem, its beating heart, stands as a testament to this shared heritage, a city where ancient stones whisper tales of prophets, kings, and empires. Yet this land, often described as a land without a people, has been home to a vibrant Palestinian people for centuries. They have cultivated its fields, built its cities, and contributed to its cultural mosaic. Their story is one of resilience and resistance, a struggle to maintain their identity and connection to their ancestral homeland in the face of relentless challenges. The history of Palestine is a tapestry of triumphs and tragedies, a tale of cultural exchange and violent conflict. It is a story that continues to unfold in the present day, its future uncertain, yet its people's hope enduring. Our journey through the history of Palestine begins in antiquity with the Canaanites establishing city-states along the Mediterranean coast. These skilled seafarers and traders laid the foundation for a thriving civilization. The Philistines, arriving from the Aegean Sea, established their own presence in the southern coastal plains, giving the land its name, Philistia, later corrupted to Palestine. The Israelites, under King David, conquered Jerusalem in the 10th century BCE, establishing their kingdom. Their reign marked a pivotal moment in the region's history, solidifying the city's religious significance for Judaism. Their story, as recounted in the Bible, became intertwined with the land itself, shaping its identity in the eyes of the world. The arrival of the Romans in the first century BCE brought an end to Jewish sovereignty. Roman rule, while initially tolerant, became increasingly oppressive. Jewish revolts in the first and second centuries CE were met with brutal reprisals, culminating in the destruction of the Second Temple in 70 CE. This event marked a turning point, leading to the dispersal of the Jewish population and the renaming of Judea as Syria-Palestina, a deliberate attempt to erase its Jewish connection. The 7th century CE witnessed the arrival of Islam, transforming the region's religious and political landscape. Under the leadership of the Prophet Muhammad, Muslim armies swept across the Middle East, reaching Palestine in 634 CE. Jerusalem, revered as a holy city in Islam, surrendered peacefully. The Dome of the Rock built on the Temple Mount soon became a symbol of Islamic presence in the city. Arab rule brought a period of relative peace and prosperity to Palestine. The Umayyad and Abbasid Caliphates, centered in Damascus and Baghdad respectively, fostered intellectual and cultural growth. Jerusalem flourished as a center of pilgrimage for Muslims, while Christians and Jews were granted religious freedom. Arabic became the lingua franca, and Islamic culture permeated society. The arrival of the Fatimid dynasty in the 10th century CE shifted the balance of power. The Fatimids, ruling from Cairo, challenged Abbasid authority and established a new capital in Palestine, Ramla. Their reign witnessed the construction of mosques, palaces, and gardens, further enhancing the region's cultural landscape. However, the Fatimid period also saw the rise of tensions between the Muslim rulers and the Byzantine Empire, setting the stage for the Crusader invasions. The 11th century CE heralded a new chapter in Palestinian history with the arrival of European Crusaders. Motivated by religious zeal and territorial ambitions, they captured Jerusalem in 1099 CE, establishing a Latin kingdom. The Crusader conquest brought about a period of religious intolerance and violence as Muslims and Jews faced persecution. 
The Muslim world responded with a call for jihad, or holy war, to reclaim Jerusalem. The Zengid dynasty, led by Nur ad-Din Zengi, emerged as a powerful force, unifying Muslim armies and challenging Crusader dominance. His successor Saladin achieved a decisive victory at the Battle of Hattin in 1187 CE, recapturing Jerusalem and effectively ending the First Crusader Kingdom. The Mamluk Sultanate, rising to power in Egypt, played a pivotal role in repelling subsequent Crusader attempts to regain control of Palestine. Under their rule, the region witnessed a period of stability and economic growth. The Mamluks invested in infrastructure, constructing mosques, madrasas and hospitals. They also encouraged trade and agriculture, contributing to a flourishing economy. Section 5 Ottoman Reign, a period of stability and change. The 16th century CE witnessed the rise of the Ottoman Empire, a powerful force that reshaped the political landscape of the Middle East. In 1516 CE, Ottoman armies led by Sultan Selim I conquered Palestine, incorporating it into their vast empire. Ottoman rule, spanning over four centuries, brought about a period of relative stability and administrative efficiency. The Ottomans implemented a system of millets, granting religious communities a degree of autonomy in managing their internal affairs. This system provided Christians and Jews with protection and allowed them to maintain their religious practices. However, it also reinforced communal divisions within society. The 19th century saw the Ottoman Empire facing growing internal and external pressures. European powers, driven by imperial ambitions, sought to expand their influence in the region. The rise of nationalism within the Ottoman domains, including Palestine, further destabilized the empire. These factors set the stage for the eventual demise of Ottoman rule and the emergence of new powers vying for control of Palestine. Section 6. British Mandate, Seeds of Conflict, Sown. The First World War brought an end to the Ottoman Empire, redrawing the map of the Middle East. Palestine, promised to both Arabs and Jews in contradictory wartime agreements, came under British control in 1920 as a mandated territory. The British Mandate period witnessed a surge in Jewish immigration, fueled by Zionist aspirations for a Jewish homeland in Palestine. The Balfour Declaration of 1917, a British document expressing support for a Jewish national home in Palestine, further emboldened Zionist aspirations. Jewish immigration, coupled with land purchases, led to growing tensions with the indigenous Palestinian population. The British, caught between their conflicting promises and the realities of a burgeoning conflict, struggled to maintain order. Palestinian resistance to British policies and Zionist ambitions grew steadily. The 1936 to 1939 Arab Revolt, a major uprising against British rule and Zionist immigration, highlighted the escalating tensions. The revolt, though ultimately suppressed, demonstrated the depth of Palestinian opposition to the unfolding events. The seeds of conflict sown during the Mandate period were set to blossom into full-blown conflict in the years to come. Section 7. The Catastrophe Palestinian Dispossession The year 1948 marked a cataclysmic turning point in Palestinian history, etched in their collective memory as Al-Nakba, the catastrophe. With the British withdrawal and the UN partition plan for Palestine failing to materialize, war erupted between the newly established State of Israel and neighboring Arab states. This war resulted in a decisive Israeli victory and the expulsion of over 700,000 Palestinians from their homes and lands. The Palestinian exodus, orchestrated through military force, psychological warfare and deliberate acts of terror, created a massive refugee crisis. Villages were depopulated, homes destroyed and entire communities uprooted. The dispossessed Palestinians sought refuge in neighboring countries living in overcrowded camps, their hopes for return shattered. The 1948 war not only resulted in the loss of land and homes, but also shattered the social fabric of Palestinian society. Families were separated, cultural institutions destroyed, and historical narratives erased. The Nakba, a traumatic event of immense magnitude, 
continues to cast a long shadow over the Palestinian psyche, shaping their national identity and fueling their struggle for justice and return. Section 8, Palestinian Resistance and the Struggle for Statehood. The aftermath of the 1948 war saw the Palestinian people scattered across the Middle East, their homeland occupied by Israel. Despite their dispersal and the loss of their land, Palestinians refused to be silenced. The struggle for liberation and self-determination continued, taking on new forms of resistance. The Palestinian Liberation Organization, PLO, established in 1964, emerged as a leading force in the Palestinian national movement. Led by Yasser Arafat, the PLO adopted a strategy of armed struggle, launching guerrilla attacks against Israeli targets. This period witnessed a surge in Palestinian activism, both within the occupied territories and in the diaspora. The 1967 Six-Day War resulted in Israel capturing the remaining Palestinian territories, the West Bank and Gaza Strip. The occupation brought new hardships for Palestinians, facing land confiscation, settlement expansion, and military rule. However, it also fueled the resistance movement, with a new generation of Palestinians taking up the struggle. Section 9. The Oslo Accords and the Elusive Peace. The 1990s witnessed a shift in the Palestinian struggle with the signing of the Oslo Accords in 1993. This agreement, brokered by the international community, aimed to bring about a peaceful resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict through a two-state solution. The Oslo Accords established the Palestinian Authority, PA, as an interim governing body in parts of the West Bank and Gaza Strip. The Oslo process, however, faced significant challenges from its inception. Israeli settlement expansion continued unabated, undermining the viability of a Palestinian state. Palestinian factions opposed to the accords, such as Hamas, gained strength, challenging the PA's authority. The assassination of Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin in 1995 by a Jewish extremist further derailed the peace process. The Second Intifada, a Palestinian uprising that erupted in 2000, shattered the fragile peace achieved through the Oslo Accords. The uprising, met with Israeli military force, resulted in thousands of Palestinian casualties and further entrenched the cycle of violence. The failure of subsequent peace efforts, coupled with the continued expansion of Israeli settlements, has left the two-state solution in tatters. Section 10, Conclusion, A Future Uncertain, A Hope Enduring. The history of Palestine is a testament to the resilience of a people who have faced immense challenges throughout their existence. From ancient empires to modern conflicts, Palestinians have endured dispossession, occupation and exile, yet their spirit remains unbroken. Their story is a reminder that the struggle for self-determination and justice is a long and arduous journey fraught with setbacks and triumphs. The future of Palestine remains uncertain. The two-state solution, once a beacon of hope, appears increasingly distant. The ongoing Israeli occupation with its attendant injustices continues to cast a long shadow over Palestinian lives. Yet despite the hardships and the seemingly insurmountable obstacles, the Palestinian people have not relinquished their hope for a just and lasting peace. Their story, though marked by tragedy, is also a testament to the enduring power of hope, resilience, and the unwavering belief in a better future. The Palestinian people, scattered yet united in their struggle, continue to resist, to dream, and to strive for a future where they can finally live in freedom and dignity in their ancestral homeland. Their story is far from over. It is a story that continues to unfold carrying within it the seeds of hope for a future where justice